So this is the beauty of your life, that this moment you can be whichever way you want to be. Now this freedom is what humanity is struggling with right now. If you are suffering your bondage, it's all right, but you are actually suffering your freedom. If your life was as fixed as any other creature's life, you would not experience any stress, you would go through it effortlessly. Now your problem is, there is freedom to be whichever way you want to be the next moment. This is what you are struggling with. If you are suffering your bondage, it's all right. If you are suffering your freedom, that's a tragedy, isn't it? Your life is not a tragedy because this happened or that happened. Your life is a tragedy because everything is happening and you are missing it. Yes? This did not happen, that did not happen, that's not a tragedy. Sun came up in the morning but you cannot experience it. You are breathing, you cannot experience that. You are alive, you cannot enjoy that. This is a tragedy, isn't it? Yes or no? What happened, what did not happen is not the point. The most significant aspect of your life is that you are alive right now. Is that so? Everything else is secondary and incidental. Is that so? Yes? But you are not aware of your aliveness. You are busy with your psychological nonsense. Your thoughts, your emotions have become your psychological reality has become far more important than your existential reality. What it means is, you are so enamored with your own petty creation that you are completely missing the grandeur of creator's creation. That's what it means. But you will go to the temple and broke <laughs> You do all kinds of things, but if you truly value creation, the best thing that you can do is to pay attention and to experience it, isn't it? Yes or no? What is the greatest tribute? Suppose somebody cooked some nice food and presented it in front of you, what is the greatest tribute? That you write a poetry on it or you joyfully eat it, which is better? Somebody has done a work of art, you ignore it and give him an award. Is that great or you truly appreciate and enjoy it, is that great? If you truly value the creator and the creation, the best thing is that you lived blissfully. That is the best appreciation for the creator.